With the second part of the second season of one of the most beloved isekai animes, Mushoku Tensei dropping soon, here's a quick recap of all the things that happened in the first part. Just in case you've forgotten what happened in the first season, we have a quick recap of that. Season 2 picks off right where season 1 left, with Rudy hollow and heartbroken. But with his mother, Zenith, still missing, he has no time to wallow in self-pity. You know what? This is the perfect time to take a break. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Enjoy. Rudy joins Counter Arrow and is welcomed by all of them except Sara, a girl who is around his age and pretty aggressive towards him. When the mission began, it was initially smooth, too smooth. Unbeknownst to them, they were hunted by the same beast that they came to hunt. The hunters have become the hunted. Rudy found his joy in magic when he saved Counter Arrow. The darkness that he was carrying was not so dark anymore. He established himself as an adventurer in the city and builds up a reputation under his new nickname, Quagmire. But even with all that renown, he was just hiding his hollowness behind a smile as he was exposed by a fellow adventurer. Rudy meets an incomplete and distraught counter arrow party. They tell him that the mission went bad and they're down a member as Sara is missing. He sets off alone in the middle of a blizzard to save her. After that, Rudy joined them for a few more missions, and the pair got closer, enough that she even asked him out on a date. The date went well, and they ended up coming back to his place, and that's when he realized. He came back to the bar to drink his sorrows away, and that's where Sol came to make fun of him, and Rudy lashed out at him. Sol takes him to a brothel, which didn't work. When he came out drunk and talking on the streets to Saul about Sara, she overheard and ended things with him. <laughs> Saul offers Rudy a chance to join his hunting party and get out of the city. Rudy flourishes under the party over the next roughly two years, gaining respect of party members and spreading his name with many feats such as slaying the dragon alone. <laughs> Elena Nice tells him that they found his mother and she's safe but in the labyrinth, with Roxy and Paul on their way to find Zenith. There was no need for Rudy's rush. While Rudy was debating whether to train first or embark on the adventure, he receives a letter of admission to be a special student at Royal University, the same school that he wanted to attend with Sophie in Season 1. <laughs> When Rudy arrived at the university to test his skills, he was made to fight an upperclassman called Fitz, who Rudy easily defeats. In class, Rudy is reunited with Zanova, a prince who is a big fan of his sculptures and aims to be taught by Rudy. Fitz and Rudy begin to spend a lot of time together studying and hanging out. Rudy wins the duel and finds that Barigari is their new teacher. Even though all that is happening, Rudy still continues his research on mana teleportation and Fitz suggested he meets Silent Seven Star to help him as she is most knowledgeable of mana circles. <laughs> Turns out she was the girl that was beside or dead, the man who almost killed him in season 1 and his PTSD overcame him when he saw her. After he calmed down, she tells him that she got teleported from Japan as opposed to Rudy who got reincarnated. Her name is Nanahoshi Suzuka. She doesn't age and has been trying to look for a way back home. They end up making a deal, her knowledge for Rudy's mana. She tells Rudy and Fitz she's probably the cause of the mana disaster. Fitz is getting jealous of Silent and Rudy's relationship. S. They speak with each other in Japanese, a language she doesn't understand. At this point, Rudy has been in school for almost a year. He meets up with Sol, who was visiting, and on his way back, he runs into Fitz, who was with Luke and refuses to answer him, causing him to think about it all day. And when he saw her, he called her out. <laughs> Fitz, 
The princess puts pressure on Sophie to reveal her identity and make a move on Rudy, as she believes Rudy could be a powerful ally for her, as well as also push her friend to shoot her shot, and as such helps Sophie come up with a plan of attack, from a planned adventure to unexpected rain to being stuck in a cave together. The plan was amazing, and it worked. Everything was going great, but his soldier was still off duty. Sophie cuddles up with him and cheers him up. Fitz told the princess and Luke what happened, including Rudy's issue. The princess laughed, Luke stood up for Rudy, and acts as the plug to give Fitz a powerful and expensive aphrodisiac to help Rudy. And it worked. <laughs> when Rudy woke up and Sophie was missing, he thought it was a repeat of what happened with Eris. But when Sophie walked back at that moment, he felt relieved and he hugged her tightly as tears ran down his face and she hugged him back. The season ended with Rudy proposing to Fitz and her accepting. That's basically all that happened in season 2. Can't wait for the second part of it. Hope it's as amazing as the first part. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bums up.